Okay, this tutorial is looking at the mouse clicked function. So this is different than anything we've really talked about before because it's a it's a function that exists outside of the draw loop, but it needs the draw loop to run more than once. So you would never use a function like this unless you also had a draw loop. Even if nothing was happening in the draw loop, in order to have this be accessed, you have to have it in the draw loop, or you have to have a draw loop running. So super simple. We've got a variable for hue. The color mode is set to HSB, and we're simply drawing a background with the hue being defined by the value of that ver the hue variable, and then maxing out the saturation and brightness in HSB. And then down here in the sort of variable sitting outside of the draw loop, but still needing the draw loop to run, we've got hue equals hue plus 10. If hue is greater than 255, reset hue to zero. So basically every time I click the mouse, which is press it down and release it, it increments up the value of the hue variable by five. So as I click, and I have to click inside the canvas, it won't hear it unless I'm clicking inside the canvas. You can see it's incrementing up by five. So very simple. So, you know, we could make it a bit more dynamic just by making hue equals um, int random 255 so now when we run it every time we click the mouse it jumps to a different color. Hmm. A little laggy. Okay, you get the idea. All right, so that's mouse clicked function living outside of the draw loop. See, this is the, the end bracket of the draw loop. It's It sits alone. Um, and the convention is usually place it after the draw loop. Okay.